I'm Coyote Peterson, and you're never gonna believe what I have cupped in my hand. Are you ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, it's going on my arm. By the light of day, the desert appears to be void of any living creatures. And if you find yourself in the heart of the Sonoran Desert, the intense sun and scorching heat can reach temperatures close to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Survival in those conditions without water and shade is almost impossible. However, as the sun disappears beyond the horizon and the cool darkness of night sets in, the seemingly uninhabitable desert awakens with creatures. Exploring the desert at night is a true adventure. Right now I'm sitting in the middle of a wash, which is pretty much the equivalent of an animal superhighway. I see we head that direction and see what we can find. Power up your flashlight to brave the night, and you're almost certain to have some animal encounters that you are not likely to forget. Oh, jeez. Come here, check this out. You got some? Yep. Whoa! It's neither a scorpion or a spider. It's a soul pugid. Also known as a wind scorpion or a sun spider. Uh, they're actually really fast, so I'm oh. hoping he's just gonna stay is this, is this, on that rock. Is um, well, they're non-venomous, so it's not that dangerous, but if you look at that front set of mandibles right there, get your finger close to that, and you're gonna get quite the pinch. And these guys have an incredible defensive posture. Look at that. They will not back down. That is for sure. Okay, stay right there on that rock. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna... All right, he's, he's like, okay, I've been spotted. You can go on my hand. There we go. Look at that. Oh boy, stay there, stay there, stay there. Oh. Okay, don't want it on my back. Don't want it on my back. Get in my hand. Oh my gosh, it feels so creepy. Like a tarantula, only faster. Thankfully, it doesn't have a stinger like a scorpion. Look at that. Okay, stay. Now these arachnids have become incredibly famous on the internet. We actually have them all over the world and there's some famous pictures out there floating around where people will actually hold them up in front of a camera with a forced perspective to make them look so much bigger than they really are. This is honestly the biggest one that I've ever seen. And just like any arachnid, they do have eight legs, but this front set up here, which is actually nine and 10, are the pedipalps. And unlike a scorpion, they don't have pinchers, but they have all these sticky little hairs. So let's say, hope he doesn't lunge out and bite me. If a moth flies towards him like that, you see that, watch. Like that, he can grab with those pedipalps and those little hairs are sticky and then he shoves his prey right into those front mandibles and, oh, come here, come here. And then he's got dinner. And that's basically like being thrown into a set of giant razor sharp oh, shears. Look out, he's coming towards your leg. Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay, that gets your heart racing. Okay. Have you ever been bit by one of these? No. Worst case scenario, if I am bitten by this creature, it is non-venomous. Most people think that this is a venomous animal like a scorpion or a spider, but a bite from this is gonna cause a little bit of irritation. But if I take a bite, I'm gonna be just fine. Would you be willing to take a bite? Uh, really, you had to ask that. I dare you. I mean, this is the biggest one that I've ever seen. I would, it actually could kind of prove a cool point that they are not venomous, despite the fact that they look like they're the predator from Arnold Schwarzenegger's famous movie. Getting the speedy arachnid under control was rather difficult, but once I had it gently placed in my fingers, it was time to test out those vicious looking chompers. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the strike zone with the Soul Pugid. Ready? One, two, three. Ow! Ow! Ah! Ooh, yeah, can you see that? Holy cow, that hurts. Wow, that pressure is unbelievable. Oh my gosh, his little mandibles are razor sharp. Oh! Ew. Ow! Whew. Jeez, that hurts, like little tiny needles going into my finger. So how was that? That was not fun. Um, he didn't actually break skin, although it felt like he was cutting through using his mandibles like scissors. As you can see, Mr. Soul Pugid is just fine. I think I'm a little worse for the wear, but the point is, I'm actually not bleeding, and he certainly is not venomous. Not a creature that you need to be afraid of. 
<sighs> Just when I thought the creatures of the desert couldn't get any more bizarre, we bump into the soul puge head. And getting bitten by one? <sighs> Guys, that's an experience that I'm certainly never going to forget. But hopefully we've proven that these little arachnids are not venomous and their bark, sorry buddy, is far worse than their bite. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, little predator, back off into the desert with you. If you thought the soul pugid made your skin crawl, Check out my encounter with a true living nightmare, the giant desert centipede. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. One really interesting feature about this centipede is you see how he's got that dark spot on his tail and those two little, oh, oh that's close to my hand.